Hello, my name is Jeanette and welcome to my channel. Today I am taking you sourcing with me for Amazon Retail Arbitrage. It's Monday, I'm at Costco and it's like 2.50 in the afternoon because I just got off of work. Last week I had a bad week, just bleh. Nothing went well and that's okay. Time marches on. This week I'm going to take you with me sourcing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We're gonna like hit one store a day, maybe for an hour or two. I am going out of town next week. I will be in Florida. I want to get my sourcing done early. So yeah, let's see how much money we can make on a Monday sourcing for Amazon. <laughs> Here we go. I just got auto ungated and these whispers. I don't really make any money, but I still applied because I always do. But this is the listing I used. I'll screenshot that and put it on the screen. So you can try to get auto ungated in that too. I figured I'd scan through some more of these books today because when I was here last time, my phone was dying and I kind of rushed through it. So I'm just taking another look. Here's one of the products I was considering getting last time I was here, but I just didn't feel like the ROI was high enough because these sell for $84.89, but it's an investment of $49.99 with profit of $10.57. It's not something I would invest in, but these are here if you would like to. Here's another one I considered getting, but decided not to. These sell for $21.99. Cost of purchase is $7.99 with a profit of $3.97. But when I put this same information in Scoutify, it, it calculates it differently and says it would only profit 91 cents. So I don't know. I just decided to pass on that. All right, I'm just looking for a different section to scan. I scanned this one yesterday. Scanned that one. These bowls are really cute. And it looks like they could make some profit, but there's no rank. So I'm going to pass on these. Right now I'm kind of like in the tool stuff. I've just been kind of scanning everything. Flashlights, light bulbs, gloves, books. Just making my way down every aisle. I also did like tumblers, pots and pans. I kind of like scanning in here because it's not a lot of little things to scan, it's just one little section at a time. Just got auto ungated in the Ocean Spray brand, so I will put that on the screen. Maybe you can get auto ungated too. These don't make any money, but hey, I like to get ungated in as much as possible. I'm not gonna lie, I'm most excited about scanning grocery just because that's my jam. I'll probably have to come back another day to scan a lot of this stuff, but I'm definitely gonna scan some of it while I'm here. This has to be the most unusual thing I've found so far. Swallow nest soup. I need to do a little bit of shopping for me. I need dishwasher liquid, whatever that is. Woo! So glad to take this off. I got the cool line going on again. Canny Sanny activate. I honestly had a lot of fun scanning in there because it's a huge store and it may seem like it's overwhelming, but once you break it down to each aisle, there's not that much stuff on each aisle. I wound up getting a couple of things. One is like a candy item. I bought it for $6.59 each. They sell for $23.50 and that will be a profit of $7.59 each. I got four of the candies. Another thing I got was some cereal bars. Those were $13.99 each. They should sell for $29.99 each. For a profit of $5.07 each on those, and I got two of those. I also got two more of the book sets I got last week because they're just such a good rank and a good price and a good profit, and I really think they'll sell. I purchased them for $17.99. They sell for $41.99 for a potential profit of $8.87. I got two of those. According to my 
quick math on my calculator. That should be about $58.24 in potential profit from our afternoon trip to Costco. I'm pretty sure I was in there for about two hours, which would be about 20 something an hour. Not too bad. I am really taking my time and scanning everything and going down every single aisle. And I have not even made it through the whole Costco yet. It's going to be a while, but I'm just taking like one bite at a time. Every time I go there, I just scan a section and there's plenty more to scan. But yeah, that's going to be it for today. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to show you this. I wanted to get some like multi-purpose cleaner for my house. Look at this jug of Fabuloso. It's ginormous. Is this like two gallons? 1.64 gallons. It's really heavy and it was six bucks. Six dollars. What? I also got this giant thing of Cascade. I will see you guys tomorrow for our next sourcing trip, which I think will be to Walmart. See you tomorrow for Tuesday's shopping trip. I wonder if I could learn how to do some cool like transition. Like, whoa. It's Tuesday, I'm at Walmart. It's about 2.12, I just got off of my nine to five job. So I'm gonna hop in here and just check out the clearance aisle, walk around, check out the seasonal stuff, see if I can find anything. And I have some returns. I just have to go to customer service and they'll scan this barcode and I should be good to go. I always go in with high hopes. I need to wash my masks. Do you guys ever have like stinky masks? It's gross. Ooh, it's very windy. I'm thinking about adopting this plant. Okay, its name is Purple Waffle, so I definitely need it. First stop is going to be customer service. Looks like no one's here. Awesome. So I'm just in the Valentine's seasonal aisle was still looking for Easter stuff. <laughs> like Valentine's Day is still in full effect, so I checked. I love me some cereal aisle. All right, now that I'm done with pet and grocery, I'm gonna go over to the clearance aisle and see what I can find. All right, I'm back in the clearance aisle. Actually, I see some new things. So I'm gonna scan through this stuff. So I'm finding a lot of these like model kits for super cheap and they're worth money. Like this one's $40, you can get it for 11. But they're all restricted. But that doesn't mean you can like sell it on eBay or Macari. Like this one here is $11 and they're selling for 50. So yeah, a lot of these. Okay, I didn't have much luck in the clearance aisle. So now I'm just gonna check out the toys real quick and then we'll probably head out. Found some toys and I'm about to check out. I'm debating on whether I wanna use my Walmart Plus scan and go cause I haven't had much luck with it. I guess I'll try it again. Oh my gosh. Whew. It's a blustery day. So blustery. Just got out of Walmart. I did better than I expected. First off, I adopted a plant. It says his name's Purple Waffle. Hopefully I won't kill this. I don't have a green thumb, but I do have a couple of plants that are hanging on for dear life. I did wind up using Scan and Go and it went smoothly this time. I scanned all my stuff right before I went into checkout and then I took screenshots. I'll put them over here. You go to checkout. You'll hit that little link on the bottom that says transfer to a register and then you give them your tax ID card and then you let them scan the barcode that the app made. I had to kind of walk her through it because she wasn't quite sure what I was doing. So you might run into that because usually people do the scan and go at the self checkout and they don't typically come through the register line with the tax ID and all that. I did wind up spending over $300. The first toy I got, I don't even know how I found it. It was on the bottom shelf all the way in the back. And I was like, I've never seen that before. And I grabbed it and I'm so glad I did because I paid $27.97 for it. It sells for $63.99 and I should profit $19.99 on that toy. 
So that's a total profit of $39.98 for two of those toys. I got a stuffed toy for $10.28, sells for $27, so I should make a profit of $7.53 on that toy, and I got three of them. I got a similar stuffed toy for the same price, $10.28. This one sells for $24, and it should make a profit of about $4.33 on that, and I got four of those. The next few items I found were all in the pet food category. I paid $22. They sell for $53. I should make about $16 each on those four bundles. I found another variety of the pet food. Paid $10.74. Sells for $29.68. So I should profit $8.70 for those three. And then I got even more pet food bundles that I paid $22 for. Should sell for about $52.99. And I should make about $16 on those bundles. I found two of those. Last but not least, I got a replin that I have been replinning for quite a long time. They cost $8.30. I sell them for about $20.33 for a profit of $3.84, which is about 50% ROI, but I'm not too worried about it because I know that they always sell. Like as soon as I ship them in, they're gone. And I usually clear the shelf every time I go to the Walmart and I find them and I sell them no problem. So it's a fast, easy flip that I'm just comfortable selling and making $3.84 profit on. Why not? I got four bundles of those. And according to my math, if I got everything right, which is questionable, I should profit about $217.31. And I was only in the Walmart for a little over an hour and 15 minutes. So heck yeah. All right, me and Purple Waffle are heading home and I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, I think for Wednesday's trip, I want to go to Big Lots. I didn't get to go there Saturday because of my stupid migraine. So I want to go and see what I missed. So I'll see you tomorrow. Let's see if I can do like a cool transition. Ooh. And just like that, it's Wednesday. I am at Big Lots. I didn't have any coupons on my email, but I do have this coupon from when I signed up for my credit card. So I'm going to use this today. So the first thing I'm going to do is scan through these food items that are by the front door. I just got auto ungated and this keto granola bar. I'll put the listing on the screen so you can try to get auto ungated in it also. This particular one doesn't really make any money, but you never know. Just thinking about when I got ungated, I got ungated in ponds. Don't know why. There really aren't a lot of ponds products out there. If you're in the process of getting ungated, I don't recommend ponds. <laughs> Unless I'm missing something, I don't recommend ponds. I think I've sold one pond thing and it was like face wipes, but they're, I haven't seen them since. So are you ungated in ponds? Do you sell any ponds? I feel like there's just a lot more Olay products. Uh, L'Oreal is another one. Neutrogena. Just something to think about when you're getting ungated. If you want to check it out, I used Nikki Kirk's ungating guides and I put that link in the description below. Ooh, look what I just found. Some Easter stuff. I want to try all of these cake flavors. They look good. Party cake? All black jelly beans. I would eat those. Just got out of Big Lots. I did pretty good in there. I was only in there for an hour and 20 minutes. Pretty quick trip. The first thing I got was a beverage. It sells for $32.50 and I got it for five bucks. So that should be a profit of $15.89 each. And I got nine of them. Just that one product has a potential profit of $143. So that was a good find. The next item I found was another beverage and it sells for $19.99. I got it for $5.49 and it's a profit of $5.07 each. I wound up getting, hello? 
Okay, I just checked. I got four of them. I got as many as they had. So that's a $22 profit for those four items. The next thing I got was a snack bundle. I spent $4 for this bundle. It sells for $17 and it should be a profit of about $5.31. And I got four of those bundles. So that's like another $20 plus. I also picked up a few of the Easter candy. When I'm shopping for Easter candy, I scan it with my Keepa app just so I can see whatever this is. The trends on the bar graph. You know, the Easter candy is going to start off kind of high and then the price is going to drop. So I'm trying to get my Easter candy in as fast as possible and get it in while it's kind of like on the high end before it drops. So I don't really want to go too deep into any candy unless it has like a really good Keepa history. If you have Keepa, definitely check it out when you're purchasing Easter candy. One of the candies I got, only four of them, um, right now they sell for about $14. I picked it up for $3.25. And so that's showing a potential profit of $6.79 right now. Over $24 worth of potential profit for that. The other Easter candy I only got four of also. And right now it's selling for $10.99. I bought it for $3.25 with a potential profit of $2.34. But according to Keepa, mm, risky, it should climb. So it's a popular candy, so I wouldn't see why it wouldn't sell well. A little risky. I only got four bags. I only invested, what, $12. So it's a low risk, but I'm expecting to do okay. At least get my money back. So on that particular candy, it's about an $8 potential profit. According to my calculation, $213 in an hour and 20 minutes is not too shabby. I didn't even take in consideration the $15 I got off. So there's that. I kind of almost prefer doing this during the weekdays. It's nice knowing that I'm going to get the weekend off and it's like just taking little small bites during the week instead of trying to chug everything down on a weekend. I know I say it all the time, but I love Big Lots. If Big Lots was a person, I would marry it. All right, I'm going to go home and eat some food because I'm starving as usual. And I will see you tomorrow for Thursday's trip. I think tomorrow we're going to go to Grocery Outlet. I haven't been there in a while, so, and I love groceries. I love to eat them. I love to buy them. I love to make money off of them. Let's go to Grocery Outlet tomorrow. I will see you tomorrow. Ooh. Bam sham -a lamb here I am. It is now Thursday and I just made it to Grocery Outlet. Fun story about Grocery Outlet. I'm pretty sure my number one selling product last year was from Grocery Outlet. I was like one of a handful of people on this listing for a while. I was just sending in 40, 50 boxes at a time and I'm pretty sure I wound up buying the entire pallet they had in here. And I didn't buy it all at one time. I would just buy it weekly. And I did that for a while and then um, a lot of other people jumped on the listing and the price went down a little. I wasn't selling that item as much anymore because so many people had jumped on the listing and the price went down. I sat on it. I didn't change my price. Eventually all those sellers fell off and then I continued to sell hundreds of boxes of this stuff for the rest of the year. So I like grocery outlets. Sometimes you can really score a really good item. Yeah, that's what I think of when I come to grocery outlet. Wonder if I'm gonna find a magical item. First thing I'm doing is just checking the date on stuff. There it is. March. January. Nope. February. March. March. February. January. This might qualify. I'm looking for like July, but this is mid-June. So this one had a decent date, but no rank. So moving on. March. Yeah, some of this stuff is either already expired or expiring. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen Food Lion in forever. I love chicken. That actually sounds kind of good. 
Oh, here's August. Let's try this one. Found this six pack and I thought it was gonna be a winner there for a second, but it would only make $1.50. Real is really easy to check because usually they just put it right there on the top. Cosmic brownie, hello. Oh, it's expired. March, April, May. August. Uh, the rank on this one's a little high, and I don't think it would make any money at three dollars. So I'm gonna pass on that and keep going. I never have luck with coffee, but I'm gonna look. I'm still gonna look. I'm not gonna give up. Well, ain't this a crying shame? These would make nine dollars and sixty-one cents each, but they expire in April, and I knew they expired, and I scanned them anyways just because I was curious. And now my heart is broken, but I will go on. All right, I just got out of Grocery Outlet. I was only in there for about an hour and 15 minutes. I wound up only getting one thing, and I honestly found that thing within the first five minutes I was in the store. I got 15 of them. This might be a unicorn item for me. We'll see. I'm starting with 15, and I'll see how that goes. And if not, I'll come back because there's a whole palette of these. I paid $1.99 each for these, and they sell for $12.99. Should have an estimated profit of $4.82 each. So that is a total of $72.30. Potential profit for an hour and 15 minutes in grocery outlet. That is it for me today. I'm going to go home and party. And when I say party, I mean I'm going to sit on my couch, watch TV, and eat. And then I'm going to go to bed. See you tomorrow for Friday. I'm not really sure where I want to go tomorrow. We'll see. I don't know. Tomorrow's going to be a wild card. Stay tuned. Bye. It's Friday, happy Friday, yay. All right, so I don't know if I wanna to go to CVS or 99 cent only store. So we're going to ask President Lincoln where we should go. We're gonna leave it in Lincoln's hands. I'm gonna flip this coin. Heads will go to 99 cent store, tails will go to CVS. It's been a while since I flipped a coin. <laughs> heads, I already forgot which was heads and <laughs> Which was tails. Well, I'm gonna rewind the video. 99 cent store it is. I've had some really awesome things come out of the 99 cent store. I'm excited, let's go to the 99 cent store. Today's the last day I'm going to source this week because we are going out of town next week and I just wanted the weekend to pack, get ready, clean my house before we leave. And we're going on a golfing date. I'm excited to have like a weekend off. Working seven days a week kind of is lame. And I've kind of, I think I already said this, but I kind of like doing little trips during the weekdays and then the idea of having the weekend off or doing little trips on the weekdays and then still putting in a full day on a Saturday just to get more profits would be a good idea. I don't know. But this week I'm taking the weekend off. So let's go to the 99 cent store. There are two of them in my town and I think I'm just gonna go to one of them that's close to my house. Cause I've already, I've already showered, I already ate. Like I'm pretty much ready to go to bed cause that's what I do on Fridays. I just go to bed. I even have my 99 cent store bag with me, which I think has some phallic, but anyways, me and my banana bag are headed to the 99 cent store. Finding a lot of cool electronics here. But I'm not finding any listings for them, so lame. I am 
out of the 99 cent store and my banana bag is full. Look at it back there glistening in the sun. I managed to get two replens that make about $12 each. So $24 on those. And I also got this item was in the medicine aisle, but it's like a drink mix. It sells for $12.85. I got them for $3.99 and they have a potential profit of $3.16. And I got five of those. So I think all together it was like a $40 profit trip for a little less than an hour in the 99 cent store. And I'm just gonna wrap it up at that this week. I'm gonna go home and enjoy my Friday nights. I'll add everything up tomorrow afternoon, which is Saturday, and I'll let you know how much I'm supposed to profit from this week's trips. I also got some online arbitrage. Can't think of off the top of my head what those profit, but I'll just add everything up and let you guys know. See you Saturday. Good morning. We are at the golf course. It's so beautiful. The birds are chirping. The sun is rising. It's a little chilly, but that's okay. It'll warm up. Just waiting on our golf cart. <laughs> I'm just watching. I might try a few swings. so much fun golfing and after we golfed we went and had a great lunch and we checked out a local brewery and it was just a fun day I'm glad I got to take that day off I did wind up packing up my stuff and let me show you what I got here is my boxes for this week I wound up with six boxes these two are returns well like this one's a donation and that one's a return it's I think over 220 pounds worth of inventory and it's an expected profit of six hundred and $53.10. So I can't wait to drop this off and head to Florida. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and let me know if you want me to do some vlogs while I'm in Florida. Bye!